Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on dividing integers. And if these rules for dividing integers sound a lot like your rules for multiplying integers, well, it's because they are. The first key concept, divide integers with different signs, the quotient of two integers with different signs is negative. So a negative divided by a positive is going to result in a negative number and a positive divided by a negative is also going to be negative, just like with multiplication. So when we have 28 divided by negative 4, we have a positive divided by a negative. Just divide, 28 divided by 4 is 7, and the positive divided by a negative is negative. What about 96 divided by negative 8? Well, 96 divided by 8 is 12, and again, the positive divided by a negative is negative, so negative 12. Dividing integers with the same signs. The quotient of two integers with the same sign is positive. So if you have a positive divided by a positive, it's positive like it's always been. Or if you have a negative divided by a negative, that too is positive. Again, just like with multiplication. For negative 54 divided by negative 3, 54 divided by 3 is 18, and the negative divided by a negative is a positive. Just like when we do 42 divided by 6, that's just 7, as a positive divided by a positive is, well, positive as it's always been. In example 3, we're evaluating expressions with both positive and negative numbers and with multiplication and division. So with 6x divided by y, I'll go ahead and rewrite that out here, 6x divided by y, we're going to substitute in negative 4 for x and negative 8 in for y. So this is going to be 6 times a negative 4, then divided by a negative 8. Well, 6 times negative 4, 6 times 4 is 24, and a positive times a negative is negative. And then dividing by negative 8. 24 divided by 8 is 3, and a negative divided by negative is positive, so that is just a positive 3 for our answer. What about b? We have negative 4 times x divided by y. When we substitute in negative 4 times negative 4 for the x divided by negative 8 for the y. On top, negative 4 times negative 4 is equal to a positive 16 since a negative times a negative is positive, and that's going to be divided by negative 8. And then the positive divided by a negative is negative, and 16 divided by 8 is 2, so negative 2 is our solution there. Now the other part of this lesson in dividing integers involves finding the mean. Ramon has scores of 12, negative 18, 3, negative 7, 1, and negative 3 in six rounds of a word game. Find the mean of his scores. Well, to find mean, what do we do? Add all the numbers and divide by how many numbers you have. So we can take 12 plus negative 18 plus 3 plus negative 7 plus 1 plus negative 3. And these are six rounds of a game, so we're going to divide by 6. Now, I would reorder this so I have all the positive numbers and then all the negative numbers when we add. So again, I would reorder this so I can have the 12, the 3, and the 1, all the positive scores first, and then the negative 18, the negative 7, and the negative 3. And that's still all going to be divided by 6. That way, when I just have similar signs, I just 
add the numbers. 12 plus 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16, plus 18 plus 7 plus 3, well, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 18 is 28, and so that's going to be a negative 28, all divided by 6. Now on top, 16 plus negative 28, this negative 28 has the higher absolute value, so 28 minus 16 is 12. It's going to be negative 12 divided by 6. And then lastly, 12 divided by 6 is 2, but a negative divided by a positive is negative. So negative 2 is our solution for his mean. And this lesson concludes with our concept summary for operations with integers. When we add integers, when they're the same sign, just add the numbers. 3 plus 2 is 5. 3 plus 2 is 5, but when they're negative, it just stays negative. Different signs is when we subtract their absolute values, and the sum has the sign as the integer with the greater absolute value, just like we did in the previous example. Same signs, just add them and either keep it positive or negative. Different signs is when you're looking at the absolute value and actually, strangely enough, subtracting to get your solution. Subtracting integers, to subtract an integer, add its additive inverse. Keep change opposite. So basically, for subtracting integers, we're going to keep change opposite and then go follow our addition rules. Now, as I mentioned in the multiplying integers video, lesson 2-4, these multiplying and dividing integer rules that we have in this lesson and the previous lesson are separate from the adding and subtracting integer rules. You cannot use these multiplying and dividing integers, these rules, for addition and subtraction. Same signs, the product or quotient is positive. So a positive times a positive is positive, or a negative times a negative is positive just like a positive divided by a positive is positive, or a negative divided by a negative is positive. Those rules only apply for multiplication and division, as do our different signs rules. So you have a couple different sets of rules to learn here, one for adding and subtracting integers, the other for multiplying and dividing integers. And if you can keep those separate, you'll be good to go. That is it for this lesson on dividing integers. Good luck.